Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a little bit now and I haven't really made much content in the past month or so. I've just been busy doing a lot of stuff at home. I've done a little bit of home decorating and I also had my mole removed from my head as well so I couldn't wash my hair. It's been about a week and a bit since I washed my hair. As you can see, it's not looking great at all. <laughs> So today I'm going to be doing a wash and go using some new products that I haven't tried before. But right now I'm going to be doing a pre-pre routine and I'm going to be reviewing this Tangle Teaser brush. I've heard a lot of good things about this brush and I just can't wait to try it. Um, I already have my Easy Detangler brush there that I use and I prefer over my wide tooth comb. But, you know, this just might be better. So this is how it comes. And I'm just going to open it. It looks like that. It's got lots of long bristles and short bristles as well. I think this would be a very good brush just by looking at it. And it feels very lightweight in my hand, doesn't feel heavy. That's the only thing I would say I don't like about my Easy Detangler brushes, that it feels a bit clumsy in my hand. And this feels pretty it's really really light it says it's a detangling hairbrush for three c to four c hair types ideal for wet hair not to be used with heat it doesn't have like the fabric lined base of the brush it's all plastic so it'd be easy to clean as well i got it in this purple color i did originally want like a it was like a aqua blue color but they didn't have it in stock so i went with a purple one and it's really cute actually i'm really really beginning to like purple this color purple a lot more as you can see i got it with my lights back there <laughs> that wasn't even intentional by the way it's just a color that draws me in you know what i mean <laughs> i also got this tangle teaser everyday detangling cream spray because i've just thought why not try the product that they're selling with it i mean they don't sell it with it but this is their detangling spray and this is their detangling brush so i thought why not try it out? It says it's an everyday detangling cream spray made with sheer butter. It moisturizes, nourishes, tones frizz, and it's for thick, curly hair. They had another one that was for thin, thinner hair. I can't remember exactly what it says in the packaging, but I went for the thick, curly hair because got thick, curly hair. It says this is a conditioning cream spray with shea butter to help deeply moisturize sectioned hair and increase softness. It can be used on wet and dry hair. For best results, spritz onto hair and brush through using a tangle teaser detangling hairbrush. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right, so I'm gonna take this disaster down. <laughs> I've been treating my hair really bad. Really bad. So this is an old twist out. I used the Miel Twisting Souffle and i'm gonna do a review on that product because i really really like it oh my gosh as you can see my hair is disgusting oh filthy look at all those dry flakes that is disgusting i think that's the eco gel that i use actually because i did go ahead and use eco gel to tame the flyaways so yeah but yeah i'm just gonna part my hair off in four as you can see no mold anymore all gone there used to be a mole right there it's completely gone i didn't have to shave my hair by the way which was good they just um sliced it off <laughs> they sliced it off and then they used like an electric pulse thing to seal the skin i haven't actually had a proper look at it yet to see if there's like a scar or anything what well, she said there would be a little scar i don't see a ball patch or anything like that so it's good <laughs> but yeah i'm happy it's gone it's fully healed as well i can't even feel where their little scab was anymore so that must have fallen out somewhere <laughs> so yeah let's get started right so in this bottle here i've got water and some conditioner so yeah i'm just gonna saturate my hair as much as i can and then apply the product and then brush it through with the brush so here we go Just spraying, spraying, spraying. If I wasn't recording, I would just do this part in the shower. So now I'm gonna spray this product in my hair. Oh, it sprays out like that. Okay. So I can actually spray it into my hand and then put it in my hair. And it's quite thick, ain't it? It's like a conditioner kind of consistency. I'm just gonna put that in my hair. Oh, it doesn't smell good though. Jesus Christ. Oh, what the heck is that? 
that's probably one of the worst smelling products I've ever smelled. <laughs> oh my god. What is that? So it's got perfume fragrance in it. But what fragrance is that? And why? Anyway, um, it feels okay in my hair. It doesn't feel like it's giving me a lot of slip. You know, like the African Pride pre-shampoo. I'm gonna use a bit more. Put it in the section as well. And then apply a little bit more water on, and then get to brushing. It's giving me enough slip, I'll say. But yeah, let's get to brushing. I'm gonna start from the ends to the roots, like always. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, it's a bit of tension, you know, as I go in straight away, like if I go in here, there's a bit of tension. My hair isn't detangled in any way. As you can see, like my hands can't go through at all. It seems like it's doing a good job at detangling my hair already. Wow, okay, okay. No, no. This is a good brush. It's a good brush. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. That section is done already. <gasps> no. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I mean, I did mention there was some tension going through, but I wouldn't ever go from the top to detangle my hair anyway. So literally working in small sections like I always do, that's gonna be a breeze. Okay, so that's one section done. <laughs> Right, so with the front part of my hair anyway, it's quite easy to detangle, so I can't really judge it well. But let's see how it does on this back section. As you can see, very, very knotty. Put the spray to my heart's content. Let's smooth that in a little bit so it doesn't start to drip. A little bit more. Um, I'm just gonna remove all of that hair that fell out. I found that when I keep the hair in the brush, the brush isn't as effective. The bristles can't reach where they're supposed to be reaching. So yeah, I'll take a mother load of this. It smells off putting. The smell isn't strong. I just can't put my finger on it. It's like it wants to be citrusy, but sweet, but fruity, but florally all at the same time. It does seem to be doing a good job, but I think you can just get away with using normal conditioner. Just got the same kind of consistency. Maybe just a little bit more slippy. But yeah, here we go. No. <laughs> she wins. She wins. This is too easy. It's even going through my knots. Like as long as I don't go like here, it will go through the knots. Oh, she wins. <laughs> she wins. Um, I'm not too sure how it will work on, you know, like really dense hair because even as I'm going through this one section as a whole, I can feel the thickness of the hair like preventing the brush from gliding through. But yeah, I actually haven't sectioned this section off at all. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Yeah, yeah as I was saying, I haven't actually sectioned this section off as, at all. And the only part that's kind of snagging is my roots. 
and that usually happens anyway and I would have to usually finger detangle before I even go in with the brush but this has done a good job without even finger detangling before like, it's not even been 10 minutes and I'm almost done and my hair was really really knotty as I said but yeah love it love it it's two sections done it's gonna be a really quick video <laughs> I'm so, no, I'm so pleased with the brush. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. I bought this brush out of my own money and it was $12.99 from Super Drugs, I believe. I didn't actually get it on promotion or anything either. <laughs> Just bought it full price. Really, really pleased with it. I actually would recommend the brush. It does a really, really good job. And I definitely will be using this over the Easy Detangler every time. It's a perfect perfect brush the lightness of it the ease of combing the way it just glides through the knots I'm just happy just happy with it let's record a tiktok not there <laughs> I'm just gonna I think I detangle these roots a little bit because it seems to be a lot more knotty than the other side So even though it is detangling quite well, I still would recommend just finger detangling ever so slightly at the roots. Well, with my hair anyway, it's quite knotty at the roots. That is disgusting. It's gel. So this is how much hair came out from all the sections. And it's not that much actually, um, with it being a week and a bit, and my hair was really knotty as well, so that's not that much. My hair's really long as well. That's the residue of all the gel that was in my hair that needs to get washed out now. So yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this brush. It cut my detangling time down so much. I think it works well because of the, the short bristles and the long bristles. So it can reach different levels of the hair. So I guess that is why it helps to um, detangle the hair quicker. They actually do have a large version as well. And I was gonna get it, but I didn't wanna get a brush that was clumsy in my hands so yeah as you can see it's it's not that big at all and it works so well as for the detangling spray i think you can do without this it does work really well but it doesn't seem to have a lot of products in it and it was either 6.99 or 7.99 it doesn't say on the instructions to leave it in for a certain amount of time or anything like that for it to be like a working deep conditioner but it just says spritz it into the hair and brush it <laughs> but yeah, you'll be fine using just your normal conditioner i'm gonna follow up now and do a wash and go using the care care curly i can't even remember what the product name is called but it's the care care curly line i'm just remembering that i didn't actually update you guys from my curly to straight routine so as you can see that i don't have any heat damage as for the blackness of my hair i can see that it's not as black as it was when I first did it but I still can't see like that brown color coming through if you get what I mean like usually I can see it quite prominent 
that brown hue, especially in the lights as well. I don't expect it to last that long anyway. It's a semi-permanent and I think the packaging said it should last for six to eight washes. And I mean, if I was wearing my hair curly for all that time, it would have been out by now if I was washing it every week. This is the second time I'm gonna be washing my hair since I straightened my hair back in November. I know, I want my hair straight for a long time. I didn't go ahead and wash my hair when it needed to be washed because I just had a lot of issues <laughs> going on. And the only reason why I washed my hair was because I was getting that mole removed. I thought maybe I should wash my hair before I get it done because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wash my hair afterwards. So yeah, that's what I did. And yeah, here I am today. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more hair care or product review videos from myself. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!